Welcome to the Creating Wealth Podcast, where Kyle Curtin takes you on an extraordinary journey alongside renowned multifamily real estate sponsors and syndication experts from every corner of the United States. We teach you how to harness the power of passive real estate investing and witness the transformation of your wealth building strategy. Let's create wealth together. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Creating Wealth Podcast. I am your host, Kyle Curtin. Happy freaking Wednesday. I hope everything is going awesome this week. We are almost at uh, almost at the holidays there. And um, yeah, just, uh, just having some fun, you know, kind of uh, putting some things together, putting out some content, working on some, some big deals for prior to the end of the year. So the topic that I wanted to talk briefly about today is how taking Jason time makes you a better real estate entrepreneur. So to kind of jump into things, you guys might have seen me post on Facebook about Jason time um, a couple of days ago, actually. But you might have seen me do it in the past. I'm in like, Kyle, like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> like, what what even is that? Well, let me tell you. So it's actually it's it's kind of an inside joke in a sense. But basically, Jason time is like like, quote unquote, you uh, like me time, like you time. You know what I mean? Like just spending some time to yourself um, you know, eliminating any external influences, you know, things that need your attention just for a small amount of time, like basically just taking a little bit of time to yourself to like be in your own thoughts and that kind of thing. So, uh, the term Jason time came about from a buddy of mine named Jason Regan. And, um, he is a a phenomenal, he's, he's a phenomenal, a lot of things. (laughs) Um, but one of the the many absolutely amazing things that um, that this good buddy does is a coach. Um, and he was one of the ones that first introduced, you know, this concept of, of Jason time, of me time to me, as well as a bunch of other folks in uh, a smaller local mastermind up in Massachusetts. And, um, you know, just like messing with them. I'm like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm just going to make it jason time like that's just it's not going to be me time it's going to be jason time even though obviously my name's not jason (laughs) but anyway um enough about the backstory so yeah so essentially it's an incredibly powerful thing that i have integrated into my life on a very very regular basis most often i do it on sundays usually between like 6 and 7 p.m um, although we are in the winter time here in New England right now, and the sun sets at freaking four o'clock in the afternoon. So basically, I've been going a lot earlier. And the way that I like to do uh my Jason time is essentially go to uh this pond in Woburn, Mass. It's called Horn Pond, and basically just you know put my phone on do not disturb. I put on an episode of a podcast it's called binaural beat and I, I heard about this concept from a fund manager that you guys have probably heard of named bridger pennington he's got um you know this like super crazy awesome uh like capital raiser guy like like builds funds and like like all this like crazy stuff and he has a couple podcasts himself he was the one that you know through listening to one of his episodes first introduced to me this idea of a binaural beat so essentially it's basically think about it like um i don't know kind of like a just like a soothing noise like a you know think about like you know like fire like crackling or like like water running um you know like like ambient type of uh like thought inducing um, kind of like background music in a sense. And the science goes a bajillion times deeper than that, believe me. Um, but basically, like, these are, uh, you know, things that people put together that, like, help you sleep or help you think. Or there's, like, different, like, hurts. Like, it, it actually gets pretty um, pretty scientific. Uh, but I just am not very familiar with that. <laughs> um, nor do I really have an interest in, in kind of knowing the science behind it. But 
Yeah. So basically, like, I'll go to Horn Ponds, you know, shut my phone off uh, or shut my phone notifications off, rather. Toss them on Do Not Disturb. Put on a binaural beat. Um, and I'll actually, I'll put the podcast down below. I use Apple Podcasts for it. Like, just put my earbuds in. I'll usually grab, like, a coffee or, you know, hot chocolate or something like that, you know. And I'll just walk to Lake. And the reason that I do this most often, um, or very often rather, is because the the amount of like mental clarity that it provides is absolutely incredible. Um, and typically what I'll do after I, you know, make my round around the lake, which it's probably probably under two miles, um, probably between one and two miles, something like that. Basically, like, you know, I'm just listening to my thing. I'm just, you know, running through basically like where am I at in my life, you know, for for different areas, like where am I at with my relationships with family and friends, um, you know, with uh, with faith like this. This for me is my um, my faith category, like the, you know, mental health type of, um, you know, type of category, the fun category. Um as well as the fitness category and the financial category or, you know, your business or, you know, endeavors and that investments, that type of thing. Um, basically kind of figure out where I'm at, you know, and, and just kind of run through some of these different things, have the binaural beats on and, and just kind of like taking it in, you know, just, just take everything nice and slow, just go for a nice walk around the lake. Um, and it's absolutely incredible, guys. Like it's I don't want to call it like a high because that comes off kind of weird, but it is <laughs> like it's it's not it's not like it's something that's being added to you. For me, it's it's like certain anxieties and, and you know, my chest being tight for X, Y, Z reason, like, you know, what whatever, you know what I mean? Um, being removed, you know, and, and basically, in a sense, just being hyper present with with where I'm at, you know what I mean? Just, just walking through, um, you know, walking through the like paths or whatever, looking at the water, like looking at like the animals and, and the, the waves and like, you know, all this stuff, it's incredibly relaxing, you know? And like I mentioned, I do it typically every Sunday. The lake is by far my favorite place to do it, especially when it's in like the summertime and the sky is all like orange at like, you know, six to 7 PM like you're out there in like a, a t-shirt or like a, you know, a, um, like thin sweatshirt or something like that. And you're just like present with yourself. You know what I mean? Just taking, taking an hour, taking an hour and a half, two hours, whatever. It's, it's addicting. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, and typically what I'll do when I finish up is, uh, basically I bring, I always bring a notebook with me. I have pretty much this like one subject notebook that I have like shit tons of different, you know, crazy thoughts and, you know, ideas for things to implement with our syndication stuff, with the podcast, um, you know, and, and really like a lot of different things. It's like this huge, like catch all of like, you know, basically taking all of your thoughts and, and ideas and concepts and et cetera, putting them down on paper. You know, there's like webs and, and all kinds of crazy shit. And I'll take that with me and I'll basically go into that with an intention. And what I mean is like, um, you know, as soon as you get insanely hyper relaxed, right. And you're basically operating at a, a much higher frequency than you normally do because of that lack of external influence for that very, very small amount of time. Um, you know, as well as the folks that, that need, you know, your attention, like, like there's <coughs> basically there's nothing more important in the world at, for that very, very, very small amount of time than just spending time on your own. Um, you know, just, just for a little bit guys, you know what I mean? Like nothing crazy, you know? And I, the other thing that I do want to add is I know it's easier said than done for folks. Um, you know, many of you guys that listen to the show have children, have spouses, you know, ha have a lot of, uh, I guess obligations that are, are incredibly important, you know, and, and the kids of sports or, you know, you have to see so-and-so people on the weekends or after work or, or whatever. Um, so it might be kind of hard, you know, to do this kind of thing, you know what I mean? But 
just like you know jason has taught me and and many other people um i recommend you know just try oh excuse me um <laughs> um i just ate a little while ago so i apologize um but just try try your best to even take like like a couple hours a month uh, a month to yourself and it, it doesn't have to you know be to the extent that i do it right it could be even like just playing a video game or something or like watching a tv show or um sitting in a cigar lounge that's always a fun one <laughs> um you know and, and just just take some time to to do you you know what i mean and yeah so essentially you know going back to what i was just mentioning a moment ago was i go into it with an intention with this notebook and I'll do my walk around. I'll get like, like super, super relaxed. And I'll usually like sit on one of the benches or, or sit in the car with the windows down or whatever. And basically, you know, some of these questions are things like, you know, your business is worth, you know, $10 million today. Like, what does that mean? You know, or, you know, creating wealth is, you know, Exactly. Like we, you know, just netted or grossed like $10 million this year. Like, all right, like, what does that look like today? You know what I mean? Is that, you know, having like a super crazy marketing department? Is that, you know, meeting with uh, passive investors or potential passive investors all the time? Is that like speaking on stages and, and doing lots of events like every freaking month? What does that look like? Is it having a, an insane social media presence? Like, is it having, you know, three to five, like, members on your team, like, helping you with uh, create systems and, and delegation and, and all these crazy things? And it's it's stuff like that, you know, like, really high-level questions that, like, force you to be thinking in a completely um, relaxed state where basically, like, the thing that you're focusing on is the most important thing at this moment in time because i mean guys like if you try to go after questions like these um you know while you're at work or while you're on your lunch break like you get a million and a half things going on like you have something to do in the next half hour like you get you know so and so people bugging you you know people trying to start conversations with you this that like there's just so much external influence going on in your immediate vicinity that it's not going to allow you to be completely present with yourself and essentially step outside of your box. You know what I mean? Completely outside of your business. Um, yeah. So it's, I, I highly encourage you to, you know, to, to try to go after questions like these, like, Oh, you know, my business is where, you know, picks up like 50 units a year, a hundred units a year. Um, you know, today like we just did that in 2023 you know like what is that what does that look like and just let your mind run you know what i mean like just just let it let it go just say that this is what you have don't necessarily worry about the how um but just let your mind go you know what i mean and, and see what it comes up with or you know some of your visions like all right you know if you say your financial freedom number is like 10 grand a month net if you you know, go through an exercise and be like, all right, I just hit, you know, 10 grand a month today. Like, what does that look like? You know, is that like you buying a lot of properties you, like yourself? Is that leveraging, um, you know, different forms of financing? Is that raising capital? Is that doing flips? Is that investing in syndications and, you know, two to four units, six to 10 units, 20 units, whatever. What does that look like? You know, like just, just let your mind run or, you know, especially one of the reasons why I like doing this exercise as well is doing this in different parts of your life in addition. So, okay, you know, you have been struggling with fitness. And I say this because I literally was just going through this about, uh, I think, three weeks ago when this is coming out. Um, you know, of like not going to the gym, nothing, right? Like, but fitness was always one of those areas that when I did this self awareness type of analysis, it's like, oh, shit, like, you know, I'm really struggling with that one. And now I'm in the gym every single day during the week. You know what I mean? Working on something and, and tracking the, the reps and all this stuff. Like, so if you ask yourself the areas that you're struggling in, 
oh, you know, today I, you know, am like super fit. Like I, you know, I'm going to the gym every day. Like, this is why it gives me fulfillment. This is the kind of stuff that I do. This is the people that I go with. Just basically like reverse engineer it. You know what I mean? And and see what your mind comes up with. Um, this is something that I, I very, very much enjoy. And I'll tell you the reason that I, I wanted to make this episode today, guys. It actually popped into my head while I was, um, you know, walking around the lake today. <laughs> um. And essentially <coughs> how it can help, or I should, I, I do want to mention a couple more things before I, I mention, um, you know, the next thing there, but essentially like it's given me a lot of extremely open thoughts to marinate on that I 110% never would have been able to have the capacity to think of prior, you know? And, and what I mean by that is like one of the, the deepest, 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 um, experiences that I was allowed to have from doing this exercise happened probably about, uh, probably between four to six months ago, I would say. Um, it was when everything was a lot warmer outside. And this was actually prior to me finding out about the binaural beats and doing that. So I was listening to a podcast. Um, it was an episode of the tribe of millionaires, uh, Go Abundance podcast with Jamie Gruber. And I forget what episode uh, or what guest he had on. Sorry, Jamie, if you're listening to this. <laughs> um, I have the episode saved, but yeah. Um, but basically, I, you know, was just listening to this episode while I was walking around. And in this episode, they were talking about your mission versus your purpose. And I thought about it more in a business context. Um, because I mean, many of you guys are familiar with my why I don't talk about it all the time, but I, I feel like I talk about it a decent amount, you know, but not, not a ton, but basically for basically since like 20, 20, 2018 ish, um, my why has always been to create, you know, X amount of or $7,000 net in net income from multifamily real estate to be able to, you know, free me and my mom from our W-2 jobs. And, you know, basically it goes a lot deeper, a lot deeper than that. And, and that'll probably be a podcast for another day. But that's what my why has always been, um, you know, because we like hate our jobs and all that stuff, whatever. Um, and it's been that way for a long time. But basically, like not to kind of keep dragging on. But it's been like that for a very long time. It took me a while to figure that out. Um, more for my mom and, and less for me. But I definitely, you know, want to go along with that journey as well. <laughs> um, but anyway, so after doing a Jason time a while ago and after listening to this podcast with uh, with Jamie, I wrote down in my notebook um, basically the mission and the purpose. And I started to really dig deep, you know, and what I ended up realizing after being in a ridiculously relaxed state, as well as, you know, just allowing my mind to run, you know, having like the sky be orange, having the, you know, the water like be, you know, gently like rippling or whatever, like, like the air was like, like phenomenal, like just being in this absolutely incredible um, environment, what I started to realize when I started to, to think and, and put, you know, pen to pad is that my purpose isn't to do that. Um, instead it's to help other people avoid growing up and living the way that, you know, we have, and we do. And basically showing them how you can use real estate investing to be able to do that. And I, one thing I do want to stress is like, we did not grow up poor and we sure as hell did not grow up wealthy, if you will. Um, but you know, like middle class, low, you know, lower middle class, that kind of thing. Um, paycheck to paycheck was absolutely a huge factor. And 
yeah so it just it was basically just like this culture shock because I, I would always question like eventually you know i'm gonna get to that 7k a month um you know and and then what like if this is my purpose like like what's gonna happen then you know what i mean uh, eventually like and not saying this with any you know way shape or form of arrogance i i say this out of confidence um you know because uh, i'm not gonna give up so eventually it's it's gonna happen you know what i mean and basically it i would always question like you know what would be next and it's like it's something that's i've never really been sure about is like yeah you know that's my my um you know pursuit my my passion my purpose now but eventually i'm going to get to that point and it's like now what do i do for the rest of my life <laughs> what do i do for the next 50 fucking years you know what i mean like i don't know um and that answered my question is like that pursuit is basically one that's never going to end and it gave me an insane amount of comfort the more that i thought about it um is yeah i mean just and the thing is is like that original purpose of getting you know that x amount of dollars and and leaving the jobs xyz that will come while i am you know pursuing that passion that mission that purpose to you know help people avoid growing up the way that we did by showing them how to leverage you know multifamily real estate to help them avoid um you know growing up the way that we did eventually i'm going to give so much value to the marketplace that i'm going to hit that original $7000 a month and it's it was just basically this freaking culture shock you know what i mean of like you know it's it's basically like just this this path that i'm infinitely going to be on and something i probably still do need to figure out i don't really have a a metric for it now is what that looks like on a quantitative basis of like helping people avoid you know growing up and living the way that that we did i don't have a number for you i don't i'm not going to lie to you but yeah just but but basically like this is the kind of thing that i'm talking about guys is like having a little bit of time to yourself allows you to step out of the day to day of everything of all the text messages and and the uh, social media and and the deals going on and the capital being raised and the conversations and the lunches and the dinners and the meetups and the like all this stuff that we all know and love right once in a great while or i shouldn't say that re on a regular basis as you know, much as you physically can for your particular situ situation, it is paramount to be able to step out of it all and look at it from an outside perspective, you know, and, and really see where you're at, um, you know, in a lot of these different areas, like the five apps and that kind of thing. And allow yourself to think, allow your mind to run, allow yourself to have that you know, you just picked up a hundred freaking units this year. Like, this is what your business looks like. This is who your visionary, your integrator, your marketing department, your sales, your X, Y, Z, whatever. This is what it all looks like today. And just, just let you, let yourself go. You know what I mean? Let your mind go. Like, nobody's going to yell at you and be like, oh no, like you're thinking too big, like wow, whatever. Just, just let your mind go, you know, just come down to this insane, um, you know, mode of relaxation, this extremely high frequency, uh, you know, level of, of thought and just see what you come up with. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like some of those questions is like, um, you know, that I've, I've used in the past are, Oh, you know, like, what do we look like today? Like, what do we want to look like three years from now? Um, more on a, you know, the finance F, you know, business type of basis, but um yeah you know and and or like basically what's that leveled up version of yourself what does that look like today you know and it's you never know what you might come up with um and it's it's an incredibly beautiful thing and it has definitely helped me gain a lot of clarity um you know bouncing back to the real estate side because like while you're letting your mind and parts of your body technically like you know your your breath and and stuff like that relax 
like it's it's allowing you to think a little bit differently about everything as a whole right and that type of stuff has definitely helped me i mean i, I can't like quantify it but i can qualify it um you know in terms of like basically helping me with the journey that i'm on you know what i mean and and gaining a lot of clarity about you know kind of the stuff that we talked about earlier like like my personal five f's and you know the the raising capital the um you know building a brand like continuing you know growing the podcast and pivoting and like you know like questioning a lot of things and and adapting and and whatever this is something in my opinion and i'm curious uh who else you know does this type of thing on a regular basis whatever it looks like for you um and how it is has helped them you know what i mean in in their business and um yeah it's i absolutely love it guys um this is something i'm definitely going to do for probably the rest of my life and in some sort of capacity preferably at least an hour every week if possible um the other thing that i want to mention i heard this somewhere and i couldn't tell you where i heard it unfortunately it might have been a book it might have been a podcast somewhere i have no idea i i heard it somewhere but basically um you know someone was mentioning that the more things that you have going on i guess you know think about it in the context of like maybe being a lot more involved in your business of scaling up of you know hiring people of i guess kind of like leveling up like the more things that you have going on the more time that you should spend away because you have to be able to like step out of all these moving pieces and look at the entire picture as a whole you know so like if you have like a shit ton of stuff going on um you know in all areas of your life like how can you sneak out of that um for a bit and just look at the entire picture as a whole like literally physically put pen to paper and figure out where you're at you know what what areas of your life are you comfortable in are you happy in that you know are are serving you well are you serving others well and what areas do you maybe need some work in like what are a couple bullet points of things that come to mind that you know you might be able to fix um and yeah you know the more that you have going on the more time that that you should kind of spend away um you know reflecting and and taking jason time and i do kind of i do definitely agree with that statement i wish i could recall where i found that because <laughs> i actually don't really remember if i'm going to be real with you um but yeah that's it's this is something that helps me on a regular basis guys like if i don't do it on a sunday like like things feel weird you know what i mean like it's it's definitely ingrained itself into a habit um i love doing it on sundays because you know usually sundays are quieter days like there's not much going on you can you know go away for an hour or two and and just kind of do your thing and um it's a good time you know and uh, usually come back, you know, with a whole new, like, like all your anxieties are gone, all your worries are gone um, and just come back essentially kind of like a different person in a way. And um, you never know, you might have, you know, crazy multi-million dollar ideas in your notebook that you just came up with. And, you know, now you can put them to action and do the same thing, you know, that next weekend or something and, uh, and have some fun, you know? So that's pretty much it for now guys for this episode um if you could please leave a rating and a review on this one um definitely you know trying to share this type of helpful uh idealism that's slightly outside the box of real estate even though it ties in extremely well indirectly <laughs> if that makes sense um yeah share with your friends you know what i mean and uh jason regan thank you so much buddy for you know showing this concept to, to many many people it's an absolutely beautiful thing that i'm sure you know many of us will do for for years and, and decades to come it's friggin amazing and um yeah guys um that's that's pretty much it i hope you all have a fantastic wednesday today it's hump day we're almost at christmas time things are going hopefully great and um, I'll catch y'all later. Alrighty.
goodbye. That's a wrap for today's episode. We want to thank you for being a valued listener of the Creating Wealth Podcast. Make sure to visit www.creatingwealth.com to connect with us. Dive into our ever-expanding library of informative blogs. Get access to our private investor portal and explore a wide range of additional valuable resources. Stay tuned for our next episode as we continue to create wealth together. 